So we've got the lamb out, it's trying to suckle. Um, how do we know what suckling is actually any good? We have all been lectured to death just about, um, about colostrum. So all I wanted to do is just give you a quick reminder of the rules when it comes to colostrum. So first of all, quickly, we've already sorted out the get up and go. We've got the cellplex, we've got the, the mega three. Um, so we just need to make sure that they're reaching the teats and suckling as soon as they can. As soon as lambs are born, their ability to get the benefit from the colostrum starts to decline because their gut wall starts to, to close. So get it into them as soon as possible. When it comes to quantity, um, it's a bit of a tricky one. You know what it's like. You've lambed them, you put them in the pen um, and you're on to the next one and you come back. How do you know how much it's taken? You don't. You check that their bellies are full and that when they stand up, they have that nice big stretch. You know that they've had their fill. If you're unsure, top it up. Don't be scared, preferably from its mother, if not from another you. When it comes to quality, there's so much we can do nutritionally to influence the quality. Um, we make sure that the, the right proportion of our diet pre-lambing is coming from bypass protein. Traditionally, this would have been from fish meal. Um, more recently, this would have been from soybean meal. And as we move towards a more carbon neutral target in the industry, we have options available which have the same benefit on caution quality. Finally, I would really encourage everybody to get hold of one of these bits of kit on the right. A Brooks refractometer is superb, so easy to use. You just get a little pipette, you put a couple of drops um, on that little um, blue tab at the end, and then you look through the end um, and it tells you how good your claustrum is, um, top notch bit of kit. <laughs>